I'm not down here today are what I was once upon a time. I wasn't really scientific, but I was, I was definitely that end of the scale in the class, you know what I mean? I wasn't meeting girls, you know? So this, I just came down, I, I come down every year, don't have to be here, I actually just come down to say, keep it going, you're all brilliant, it, it'll get better. It's just, uh, uh, so, uh, you know, they try and put a bit of wind in the sails and wish them well. If I take one thing from here is the use of technology. Absolutely everyone has a laptop, absolutely everybody is using the internet, and this is the only way forward. And uh, uh, the BT stand, which looked at how uh, we can teach much, much better, how we can interact with people, how ICT has opened so many doors to so many people. And as well, there are a number of projects here where people were able, young people were able to exchange their views uh, with other others in other parts of the world and how ICT allowed that to happen. The judges look for a variety of things. I think they really look at the originality of the idea. I think that's very important. They look at the uh, analysis. They look at the, the work that the, the pupils have put into it. They look at the presentation, how they come across when they're interviewing, how they get the concepts across. So they look at a number of things before they get to a final, a final score and a final decision. It's absolutely fantastic to see young people taking interest in science and engineering and it's, um, it's vital to the country's progress in, their, in our struggling economy at the moment. I'm Malia Hayes, I go to Oak Grove College in Londonderry and I'm in fourth year. Brianna McPartland, Oak Grove College, Londonderry, fourth year. Just made an energy efficient shower that uses air pressure and solar panels. We were doing um, waterfall work in class and normally when you have a waterfall, the water will fall over the edge and it will just fall down. And we thought that it would be rather interesting to make it squirt upwards like a drinking fountain because otherwise it just looks kind of plain and done already. So we decided we would investigate it and find hair on. In developing countries, hopefully we've uh, made it so that it could be used there. Water is scarce and the same water is used all the time and it's filtered through the pump and it's cleaned and it's only it's 40 litres all together in the project and about 4 litres are used for the shower. So it's, it's just the vessels that need the water to push the air around. Can't high ties damage your eyes? I'm Alison Garvey, I'm in fourth year and in Square where I've gone small or okay. um, I'm Roshi Notes and I'm in fourth year in Square where I've gone small as well. I'm Ashley Morris, I'm in fourth year in Smell. Our project's called Can Tie Ties Damage Your Eyes. We wanted to do a project on vision, so we went on the internet and we came across uh, this project that had been previously carried out by the New York Eye and Ear Infirmary in New York and uh, we just decided to like expand on the project and uh, we added our own little methods to it and so that's why we took that project. Hi, I'm Cormac Gibson, uh, I'm 13 years old and I'm from Kinsale Community School. Hey, I'm Porkin Kelleher, I'm from Kinsale Community School and I'm 13 years old. Um, why do we love social networking sites? Um, we came up with it because we weren't allowed on a social networking site because our parents thought that we would um, be spending too much time on it and not doing our homework. So then we decided to uh, investigate if that was really true. Hey, my name is Danny Freeman, I'm 13. My name is Keen Heron, I'm 14. My name is Luke Pratton and I'm 14. And we're from uh, Kilindall School and our project is called Automatic Umpire. Well, this system works with the slitter which has a chip put in it which works as the receiver and the retransmitter and this wire which is laid out through the whole goal which works as the transmitter and it's connected to the control panel here. So when the system is turned on, it registers, it, the beam is sent out from this and it sees how long it takes from the, for the signal to get from here to the slitter, the chip in the slitter, and then back again. So it registers how far away it is from the line. So when it approaches the line, it starts beeping. And just when it crosses the line, it will let off the strongest beep, like this. And then we'll have that system set up so that it sends that beep directly to the ref's earpiece.